Greetings all 2,491 members of the Get Right Gang and the 40% who haven't hit the subscribe button yet. My name is Jamal and welcome to day 23 and uh, I am now down 40.6 pounds in 23 days. My new weight is 505.3. That is a new record low for this weight loss journey. A 4.1 pound loss since yesterday. What is going on? We're up weight one day, we're down weight the next day. It is like a mad fun house over here. But one thing I know for sure, your boy is getting lean and we're going to hit that sub 500 this week. What is today's date? It's Friday the 26th of January 2024. Oh yeah, new personal best. Five more pounds to go. Let's get right. Yeah. What's good Get Right Gang? Welcome to day 23 and your boy is back. And as you saw at the start of the video, another successful day of weight transformating. I am now down to 505.3 pounds, a new personal best. Five pounds away from that sub 500 pound range. Will I get there this week? I don't know, but I tell you what, you guys seem to think so because 100% of you voted in a poll this week and said that I will definitely get to sub 500 this week. 100%. I can't believe you guys believe in me so much, but I really do appreciate this. I wasn't expecting such a big number, but thank you. I'm definitely aiming for that sub 500 pound range by this Sunday. So stay tuned. Not going to be easy, but I think I'm in tune with my body enough to know how to get it done. So let's get it done. Now, before I get started on the information on today's weight loss, just a quick disclaimer. I'm not a professional, I'm not an expert by any means. I'm just a guy on YouTube in a weight loss journey. So anything you do is up to you. Please don't copy anything I do without seeking professional or expert advice first. Got it? Good. So it is now Saturday morning. And this week I burnt on average around six to 7,000 calories per day. Got that on the screen right here, as you can see. I'm cutting this weight, people. And as for food intake, I'm currently alternating between 48-hour fast and 72-hour fast. I pretty much just break my fast depending on how mentally fatigued I feel. I don't particularly get hungry, but I do get cravings and I do, I do get tired of the feeling of not eating. Like sometimes the sensation of knowing you haven't ate food in days just gets tiresome. So... That's kind of the times where I break my fast. But in general, I'm doing 48 hours or 72 hour fast and then breaking it with food. So I've got a question here from my boy Jim who asks exactly what I'm eating, exactly what I'm drinking, everything that's going into my body while I'm on this weight loss journey. So I've got this all documented over the videos in the past, but just to quickly summarize it, and I've got some footage here as well. I'm eating on average 1,000 1, to 2,000 calorie meals which consists of beef liver, sardines, and some type of meat, whether it's beef, chicken, uh, I'm gonna get some bacon soon, and some spinach. And that's because it covers all the bases in terms of electrolytes, covers all the bases in terms of vitamins and minerals. The only thing it doesn't have is salt, but it's easy enough to add salt, so I just add salt. And then I just add a little bit of butter on top sometimes just to add a few extra calories, but normally 1,000 to 2,000 calories, then the only other things I have is some electrolytes throughout the day in my water. Or if I'm having bone broth that day, I'll add some extra electrolytes to my bone broth. So I'll salt it up a little bit more, add a bit more potassium, add a bit more sodium. And every day I take a vitamin B complex of vitamin C, which has really been helpful to me on this journey. I've been able to regulate my energy much better and it's been so much smoother, man. I've done weight loss journeys in the past. I've done fasting in the past. And the biggest struggle to me has always been a lack of sleep being tired and feeling nauseous all the time. This time, I haven't had any of that. Been sleeping well. If I had eight hours sleep yesterday, and I can't remember the last time I had eight hours sleep, it's normally five to seven. Six, six is a good day for me. Yesterday I had eight, and I looked at my Fitbit and it said eight. I was like, what? Let's go. I was gassed, because that's not happened in a while. So I'm getting really good sleep since I started taking that vitamin B and vitamin C complex. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it really. So it's the food, bone broth, the vitamins and electrolytes. That's everything that goes into me. Nothing more so far. And burning 6,000, 7,000 calories a day. The results are coming in. Down to 505, five more pounds to go. So yeah, as you can see, some days the weight goes up, some days the weight goes down. 
but it's not really about the day to day it's more about the trend so just to make it simpler i have a screenshot here from one of my weight tracking apps that i use on my phone this particular app is called happy scale it's available on iphone and this shows you as you can see the trend now the little dots that you can see those dots are the exact weight that i put in on the day to day and the line that goes through the dots is the averages so as you can see the averages are trending down it started off with a very steep decline and now it's starting to stable out a little bit but the bottom line is it's going down and it's not going up and it's not going straight so it's not so much about the day to day some days i'm going up some days i'm going down but the averages is going down on a consistent basis over the weeks and over the months so everything's going well just got to keep pushing so i hope that clears a few questions that you guys have had if you do have any more questions please do put them in the comments below as you can see if, you, if there's a good question i'm happy to answer it in video but i do try my best to answer all the questions i can in my comment replies too so as always thanks for the love everyone thanks for the support and appreciation get right gang we're taking over 2024 is our year let's get right everybody i wish you guys all the best on your weight journeys too love you all and i'll see you next time peace